Greetings and welcome, Craven employees, to another episode of Let's Play Ground Control. Alright, so now that we have neutralized the enemy's stealth advantage, it's time to see what damage we can actually do in the next mission. With the jamming field down, we have a clear view of the Order's central command post. Their fortifications are extremely well designed and the direct frontal assault has already failed. I've had to pull the 52nd off the line and use its remaining personnel as replacements for other units with less severe losses. I'm sure the survivors of the 52nd appreciate your desire to put them back into battle so quickly. How exactly is my squad alone supposed to achieve what your massed units weren't able to do? The difference, Major, is that your units will be dropped behind the Order's main defensive ring. And this isn't asking my troops to commit suicide because... Because, Major, at the same time you are being inserted, our main force will be making a frontal diversionary attack. This should ensure that you will encounter only scattered resistance in the enemy backfield as you take out a series of key support structures. Unless, of course, the Order has a tactical reserve force. Intelligence assures me the probability of that is very low. I feel safer already. Of course, we will only be able to get one dropship in at a time, so your forces will arrive over a tactically significant period of time. Oh, this mission just keeps getting better and better. Well, Director, I'd better get my affairs in order because I'll be going in with my troops on the first dropship. Promise me that you will recall the other two dropships if we don't make it. I don't want my entire command wiped out with me. I would never waste personnel on a failed mission. How very reassuring. Alright, so we only have one dropship at a time until we take out some significantly... Well, some targets, really. Now, this is very defensive and the map is also at night, so we're gonna have reduced visibility. Partially the reason I know this is because I've tried this map already a couple of times and I failed. <laughs> Pretty much. Well... Not failed completely yet, but, you know, lost so many forces I didn't think the victory was worth it, if I could still get it. Aside from that, I just really want to get something stuff done. Now, the biggest problem in this particular map is, is visibility for the most part, because the enemy bases are all very, very well protected from ground attack by being up very high. Which is annoying, because that means basically only things that fly over them can really get to them. And of course, everything is protected from air attacks. So I will not be taking any planes in with the first landing squad, because that frankly is this. That would be suicide and useless. Uh, what will I be needing though? Um, I will be wanting some main battle pterodynes. And I'll be swapping out them. Actually, let's do this. And I will want the... Let's see. Artillery, some anti-airs, some main battle pterodynes, and on that one I'll swap over. Alright, in the next one... Let's just get the... Uh, infantry together on that one. With the heavy and the light pterodynes, and the last one will be rocket pterodynes, scout pterodynes. And these two need to be all the way around, because otherwise it will just annoy me. Right, let's configure the squads. Alright, so first off, you need to be Jaegers, and you don't need to be Jaegers. These Jaegers need to have recon. Hmm... I kind of wish I could give these things passive abilities, but I don't have those. Let's see. There's not much specialty needed here. I'm not all that worried about getting targeted with missiles, so I'll leave the repair modules. Hmm. Let's see, anti air pterodynes. I wish you had special weapons, but you do not. Alright. Let's give you an image intensifier. As much as I um, want to make sure that this thing is safe, 
I'm pretty sure the artillery will never come under the direct fire unless I'm being absolutely careless. As for my infantry, well, given that my visibility is so poor and, well, these guys are more or less expendable at this point. A little bit. Prefer still that they don't get any damage at all, but, you know, you can't guard against everything. Uh, this is probably fine. Also probably fine. Hmm... The mines would be useful if I was setting up a defensive position, but I am not. I'll leave them with the equipment they have. Alright, so do I want anti-air missiles or anti-ground missiles? Eh, let's go with the Hellfire missiles. Now, as for my air support... I think I want some scout airlines because I have a serious problem with visibility on this map. And fighter as fighters will just not not really serve me. Yeah, they're not suited for heavy combat, that is true. Pretty, pretty much. If you want to put scout aerodynes in any function at all, it's preferably against something that cannot shoot back. Uh afterburners is Fine. I mean, I could give them the anti-missile system, but that's not really necessary. You, however, will need the anti-missile system because you do not have the speed, even if I give you the afterburners to get out of the way of a missile. <coughs> uh, no, the tactical nuclear bomb is probably fine. All right, let's drop in this. New drop zone. All right, dropship Alpha. Dropship entering atmosphere. Mission update. The second dropship is waiting for some sign that the combat situation is viable. Destroy the communication relay, and they will be vectored in to land. How very reassuring. All right. Jaegers, return fire and move forward. Now, I'm not expecting much resistance from the enemy. Not even so. We're not completely unguarded. Now, as far as the mission goes, there's lots of power stations we need to take out. So at no point am I actually guessing I will be able to take out whatever the enemy uses to defend against incursions and all that. So I can't re rely on knocking out the enemy air defenses beyond destroying them. Which means I will need to be able to see them. Which I can't because, like I said, these here are all mesas and plateaus that I can't reach easily. And since this is a backwards position, I am presuming, well, I sort of know, but I'm presuming that the army, enemy has mined this area. So, ground approaches are going to be tricky. Move order received. Alright, I've got sight on... Enemy aerodynes. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. They blow up so nicely. We are moving. All right, let's get set up in the center here. All right, Jaegers, give me something to shoot at. Expecting maybe one or two full squads of uh, possibly medium hoverdynes. Definitely some light hoverdynes. Uh, likely some infantry. Alright, so here we have our first target. Let's get Attack cracking. Alright, so the image intensifier essentially allows the artillery to hit more accurately, which it definitely needs because. Good lord, that shot is wide. 
Now this communication relay is protected. But not that well protected. I mean, I can't see it, but from the shooting I can guess that there's at least Major, one uh, defense tr uh, turret. But I can still kill it with collateral damage. More or less. Alright, so while it is doing that... I can move the rest of my squad forward. Because this will go down eventually. And hopefully it will also take out some of the buildings that are next to it, which we can't see because, well, we can't see. Move order received. Right, well, the anti air pterodynes can stay here. Just in case any aircraft come back this way. They might. I don't know where the enemy has got their aircraft stashed, but you know. Could happen. Right, we've got some anti air hoverdynes. That's fine, they can't shoot at me, so I'm not worried. Alright, so we killed something. Which wasn't our target, but you know, it's a start. I mean, how difficult really is it to shoot like this? I mean, I get that some of the shots are getting killed, but uh, still, come on. How poor is your aim that you're off by that much? Enemy structure destroyed. Oh well, at least it gives you experience. We're on our way, Major. Now, let's see what they have here. I can't Major, we're this out. is quite a steep hill, so oh, it's gonna be tricky to move up here. We're on our way, Major. Move order received. Right. Enemy attacking squad one. Major, we're moving out. All right, line formation. Unable to reach location. Can't do that. Can't move there. Move it out. Move it. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Enemy attacking squad one. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. All right. Received. Enemy out structure left, destroyed. We're on our way, Major. And we have got some medium hoverdynes. That's fine. Enemy structure destroyed. New drop zone. Mission update. Communication relay destroyed. Prepare for reinforcements. Squad 2 taking enemy fire. Enemy attacking squad 2. Squad 2 recharging. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Just wait until these hoverdynes die. And I can't really hold out against me. With all this battle damage. Enemy attacking squad 2. Squad 2 recharging. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Hey, voila. That's one defensive force less. Moving right away, Major. Squad one recharging. Let's get the Jaegers up there. Now I don't have to kill the rest of the buildings here. But I do want to take out the missile launcher. And the defender gun. Enemy structure destroyed. Target. Right, in the meantime, Major, I spy with my Jaeger Force something on that other plateau. We 
which I can now shoot at. It's defended by another defender gun, but you know what? That's fine. Alright, some anti-air hoverdynes, some crusader infantry. Enemy structure destroyed. Right. Alright, we won't leave this position, Major. As good as yes, Major. Attacking. Just kill the generator here. Not sure if it's necessary for the enemy defenses, but you know. You'd rather be sure. Move order received. My Jaegers aren't doing some damage, although they appear to be having the accuracy of stormtroopers at this range. Neat. I mean, they are shooting from very long away, but you'd think they'd take the time to at least, you know, line up the gun. Go prone or something. Don't they have tripods for those big guns? Well, that saves trouble. Alright, come on. Just kill the defender gun. They're hitting the sides a bit. Alright, can I tell you to move? No. Offensive, Major. Major, we're moving out. Just move there. Alright, we won't leave this position, Major. So you should still be shooting at this. Hopefully the uh, generator will not get in the way. Almost feels like that story about uh, watching a cattle and it never boiling. Come on, just a single hit will do. Just take your time, boys. Thank you. All right, that's the defender gun dealt with. Enemy structure destroyed. All right. Let's get set up over on this side. Because potentially there is still stuff I need to kill. Deal with it now, then be blindsided by it. Enemy attacking squad two. All right, that's clearly something. Enemy structure destroyed. Enemy attacking squad two. Squad two recharging. Enemy structure destroyed. Power generator destroyed. Enemy attacking squad two. Offensive, Major. Major, we're moving out. Right. Enemy attacking squad two. Moving right away, Major. Squad two recharging. Enemy hover dying destroyed. Man, just kill the half a dines. Squad two. Squad two recharging. Enemy half a dine destroyed. Enemy attacking command APC. It's just a single unit of Crusader infantry. It shouldn't be that difficult. I kind of wish I could command my tanks to roll, roll over them, but that doesn't happen. Oh uh, well. 
that'll have to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.